Hi friends! Welcome to another episode of Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah from the marketing team and this here is Clint Hansen. Hello. What superhero are you today? I'm not. That was just a Halloween thing. I think that maybe we should dress up every episode from no, now No, no, that's a Halloween thing. One time. That's it. One time a year. Mm. And don't even start because I know you're going to try some for Thanksgiving and Christmas. That's a great idea! Not being Santa. <laughs> What if I dressed up as a slice of pumpkin pie? So super exciting for today. We have two questions. Indeed. We've only done this once before. Hope you guys are pumped. If you're not, <laughs> get there. We'll give you a second. Okay. okay, now you're good. So the first question then is from our friend, don't ask. What? Why not? That's such a crazy name. I'm asking. <gasps> well, you're not supposed to be, says that too. Fine, all right. Or they okay. say not to. I won't ask. Friend, don't ask. My bad. It's a little unfair because you're asking us a question and then we can't ask one back, but it's yeah. fine. We'll be respectful. So don't ask. Question is, I just ordered my third BA barrel. Good. First in six and a half Brendel. I have the 18 inch fluted rifle gas coming and the question is on the gas block. With the rifle gas, is an adjustable gas block needed with a can slash silencer? Hmm. No, it's not needed. I think we, we get caught up on this. We talk about this quite a bit. Um, it's, a, it's a way to further tune your rifle so it's best for you and the ammo you're shooting. Obviously, in this case, he's shooting with a silencer, mm -hmm. so that is increasing back pressure. So I think the obvious new move for people is to get an adjustable or bleed off system, which is going to uh, mitigate the amount of gas forcing that rifle to function, okay? So, uh, less, ga less gas in your face, uh, less felt recoil, um, keeping your ejection pattern um, where you need it, um, are all pros of having an adjustable gas block. However, if you have a nice rifle buffer system set up, rifle stock, throw a suppressor on there, it will function just fine, okay? It may be, that obviously the, gas, the back pressure is increased, um, and your ejection pattern is gonna change a little bit, your shell casings may go forward a touch, and the actual action of the rifle will be faster, but for decades people have been shooting without adjustables or without bleed offs. So it's really going to be up to you and how far you want to take your tuning process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? No! Yeah. I was joking. So my question is, uh, what would you do? I would use a superlative arms bleed off system, which is what we do here. And you can absolutely tune that thing in so it's ejecting properly feeling perfect and you're really taking full advantage of what that 6.5 Grendel round can do. You can shoot very far, very accurately, but it's still AR-15 platform so why not keep that recoil down and that control, um, you know, to your standards. So, okay, that's what I would do. Awesome. Good to know. Thank you for being honest about that. You're welcome. So we do have a second question. Second question. Normally this is where the episode ends, but no! Second question! What? Two of them. James Martinez. Our boy, local boy. James wants to know, what is your opinion on the Valtor A5 buffer system? This system is supposed to help minimize recoil. What do you think? I think they work out just fine in this kind of situation. If you have something that's over gas, it's gonna slow it down. Um, again, taking something standard and minimizing recoil. Um, it's a good take on a, on a on a buffer system and they do it quite well. So yeah, if your gun is over over gassed or is thumping a little too hard and you're getting you know you're getting plenty of gas in other words. Um, yeah, throw an A5 system it will slow it down. That is absolutely an option and people of Voltor are really good people. So um, yeah, I don't have a problem with that system at all. Okay. So my opinion is a good one. And if the rifle needs it, have that. It. It's definitely an option. Awesome. Thanks so much Clint Hansen. You're welcome, Sarah. Your answers are always the best. Thanks so much, James, and also to our friend, don't ask. We won't. We understand. Not gonna ask. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get a notification every time we post a new video. We have new Q&A videos up every Thursday. What? Every Thursday. No joke. Being totes serious. Ew, I said totes. You did say totes. <sighs> totally serious. There, that was better, right? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see this guy uh, answer one of your questions, make sure to comment below. And yeah, we can't wait to see what you send us.
Publix. Pub subs. Publix is. My wife loves those. It really is the yeah. best place to shop. Publix is just such a wonderful, beautiful place where shopping truly is a pleasure. I just need to be at Publix. Do you feel that way? Do you ever do that? No. No. Not since I've gotten to be an adult. No. And those chocolate chip cookies, like there's n nobody has cookies like those chocolate, like nobody makes chocolate chip cookies like Publix does. Agreed. They're so good. There's something weird in them. I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's healthy for you. As soon as you start doing the low fat stuff and taking out sugar, it just all goes to crap. And it's not a good cookie anymore. Just kidding. You guys should eat healthy. I eat a lot of veggies and stuff, but you know, I also eat a lot of cookies to make up for it.